How the wildfires are affecting plans for Maui schools to reopen and how kids are processing the trauma in the wake of this historic tragedy. ABC's Becky Worley joins us now with more. Becky, good morning. Whit, good morning. As I've been traveling around the island talking to adults as they process their trauma and their grief, I've noticed their kids playing all around, oftentimes watching their parents. They were supposed to start school last week, and it begs the question, how will the kids here on Maui adjust to their new normal? This morning, as Maui families grapple with next steps, children now facing an uncertain future, their homes and schools gone. My son is actually was supposed to start school on Wednesday, um, but unfortunately there's no school for him to go to. The Kahahane family escaping the fire's deadly path. It's a horrible thing that happened to all of us. Their family home reduced to ash. Parents across Maui dealing with so much, now grappling with what to do with their children as the school year begins. They need our education, but I don't know where. I mean, I, is it bad if I don't send them right away to school? Tomorrow, most public schools outside of the West Maui area around the fire starting phased reopenings while the public schools in Lahaina remain closed or destroyed. The Department of Education opening immediate enrollment statewide for displaced families so they can get their kids back in school. Maui teachers opening up to GMA about their return to the classroom while dealing with such uncertainty. So we didn't know um, if our school is burnt down or not. It turns out it's not, but we probably had a dozen people tell us for sure that it was. So we had the opportunity to meet them. They dropped off their school supplies, so I got to meet them all for like five minutes. Well, I met these little humans, and now I don't know where they are. I don't know where they're living. I don't know if they lost their houses. I don't know if they're safe. Schools across the state doing what they can to help. La Pietra School for Girls on Oahu offering free tuition, school supplies, mental health care, and more to female students affected by the fire. Back here on Maui, for Ruben Brillantes and his extended family, their home destroyed, but... What's the plan for school? School, enroll them on Monday. Beyond school, parents asking, how will their kids even process this traumatic event and their grief? The magnitude of the situation not registering. Every day. And what do they say? We want to go home, when are we going home? Experts say because children's brains aren't fully developed, these emotions can be hard to process. And for children, what they have known is very limited, right? They only know certain few places, a certain few people, and how they process grief, how they process tragedy, how they process loss. It's too much for a child to process. And are you worried about your classmates and your friends? Yeah. Maui Imua Services will be offering support counseling and child care. They've also received a big donation from the Jack's Toy Company, which will be sending toys here for a mobile toy store for kids who lost all of their things. Another organization that's near and dear to my heart, it's called Nakekio Emilia. They offer grief counseling here on Maui. They'll be having an open house in the next weeks, and their goal is to provide grief counseling, group work, and Counseling through drawing, kids process their grief so differently than adults do. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.